You know, many counties in California have long since passed ordinances regarding pot growing that are in effect and working. Some are strict and some are loose, but the people in those counties are living with them. But well, Lake County, on the other hand, is one of a minority of counties that has not yet resolved this issue. And it's been kicked around from the Board of Supervisors to the Planning Commission, to a committee, to the courts, to the signature gatherers, the ballot box, and round and round, and we're still nowhere. The recent ordinance passed by the board it may have made some people happy, but three weeks later the other side had enough signatures to put Measure N on the ballot. And whatever happens with N in June, there'll be another measure to follow in November. It's time for us to compromise and move on to more important issues than marijuana cultivation. Because until we compromise, we're going to be going around in circles. You may like Measure N, but it won't stick and it'll be challenged every time. And you may want a super loops policy that'll allow you to grow a thousand plants, but that's not going to fly either. So let's find some middle ground and make it work. Anytime. <coughs> Grow pot, not grapes. Good idea. You know, marijuana has worked its way towards uh, being a low harm drug from having a sinister reputation. So now tobacco has worked its way from a low harm reputation to becoming more sinister. It's just the opposite. If we'd have started the other way, maybe we wouldn't have the problem we have today. Today's science is finding new medicinal value in both of the active ingredients of cannabis and nicotine. Go figure. So Prop 215 jump-started the cannabis's legal journey for the purpose of the medicinal use. Not everyone came along for the ride, in their opinion, so there's a division of thought regarding the reputation of cannabis. Some are still living in the old days, some are more enlightened. Recreational use users are actually riding on the backs of the cannabis's medicinal shirt tails. Because, but there's been some pushback to that. There's no law allowing for the recreational use, but they'd sure like to have it. The recreational users might have used a little different strategy, perhaps, uh, but that's hard to tell or they're even second guessing. I wouldn't go there because I'm not living that life. But on the other hand, the missing component through all of this is good data on the real problems and good governance in finding the solutions. That's what we need. The way for recreational use is to establish controls through regulation such as you would have on any adult drug. Tobacco, uh, alcohol, you name it. But you have to also gather the revenues to protect our kids, protect us from the uh, drivers that might use this, and be impaired. And so you have to have the revenues. Now, everybody knows the formula. It's over the years from when there was a problem with prohibition until now we understand those problems for recreational use of alcohol, just apply those solutions. So maybe we need to give the local ordinance process another try, but actually I think a statewide initiative will be on the table before that can happen. <coughs> Measure N, uh, I am, uh, I don't believe that is a feasible measure. Uh, it's, we're not here to criminalize people that need to use medical marijuana uh, for their needs. I think that there is a much better measure that could be put forward on this. Uh, you know, really, in my district, what I see is we're not after the person who wants to grow a few plants in their yard, even for personal use. Um, I, it's the people who are coming into our area creating the crime, uh, you know, creating the people who are sitting out there with their, you know, 100 to 200 plants and their guns and bringing in the illegal illness that is not 